I had hoped to make the Brass Monkey fly in at Northcote this year. Uh, Saturday at Nayland was impossible. The forecast for Sunday looked very much better. So I filled up, got ready, but you will see the forecast and what actually happened were very, very different. Well, as I expected, it's not that brilliant. And we've got a fine mist in the air as well. I certainly wouldn't want to be going all the way to North Coates, which was the original plan. I'm fueled up, ready for it. Bring that volume down. Hopefully that'll do something. This visibility is not at all nice. It's very, very yucky. What I didn't realise, unless I've got something wrong, is that the last time I used this, um, and I got some fairly favourable responses from people about the um, um, 40 decibel reducer, which is good, um, as opposed to this visibility, which is atrocious. Um, but yeah, um, I hadn't realised that last time I flew, I was only getting mono through the earpiece. I am checking to make sure I've got that ear in. Um, I might need to do some more exploring on that one. I really didn't realise it was last time. Um, 1,500, which is not at all nice. I know that John wants to do uh, some circuits. Ooh, even more coming through underneath us now. John wants to do some circuits with John, so that's uh, John Owen doing some circuits in the SEPA. Um, but I know that John has got somebody coming to look at the Signet, so he's going to have to stay fairly local. Um, not that I don't think there'll be much choice to do anything other today, to be honest. I've got the fuel pump on, so I'm going to take some from the rear. Because as I say, I was ex not expecting, I was hoping to get to North Coates. So on that basis, I put a whole lot of fuel in the back. Um, in fact, we've taken off with absolute, absolutely full fuel. There's no point in pointing anything out on the ground, although we've just gone over a train, simply because I don't think any of it's going to come out. And there's a fine mist all over the windscreen. Absolutely no breeze. Although, having said that, um, I've got a little bit of a tailwind. One or two people seem to like that last video I did when uh, I combined the walk along the creek with the shots of the creek from the air. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a matter of trying to explore all sorts of different things. Um, I give a big shout out to John, the flying reporter, because his Christmas video whereby he was highlighting the work of, of some of us lesser known um, pilot YouTubers. As a result of that, uh, I picked up quite a few extra subscribers. So if you are one of those new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Um, and I hope you enjoy flying with me. I do try to put a variety of different bits and pieces in, although I know it's very different to what a lot of other people do. Um, I am very lucky to have this machine and be able to use the machine and uh, the idea that you you own your own is really nice because I think I've said before but what you could do is you can actually fly somewhere which is a very short distance away and be there for a day without worry of worrying about incurring any extra costs or anything 
So I know I'm lucky, um, and I've always wanted to share my my flying, and by doing what I'm doing here, it it is one way of of, of doing that. Having said that, I haven't got anybody in the seat next to me. Um, although in those situations, when I don't have somebody in the seat next to me, I was sort of treated that you are in the seat next to me, and hence the fact that I don't. Um, stop rabbiting on about different bits and pieces. Uh, they're going to come left. but visibility and dampness doesn't make it super nice. Can't help when the weather's like this, looking forward to some of the things that we might get up to later on this year. As I said to John in that video, I've had lots and lots of invites from people all over this country uh, and abroad to go and visit them. I think it's about time I started doing some of that. Although, believe it or not, being retired doesn't seem to have given me the amount of time to myself that I was I was expecting, but hey-ho. Trying to keep an eye out for Duncan as well, because I know that he was going to fly with Rob. Oh, that's amazing. In the middle of the field, behind my house, there's a burnt out car in the middle of it. It's really weird. Anyway, that's messed me up for turning over my house. really must pay more attention. It's one of those things, one of those times, it is lovely to fly. Oh, I always like to be able to fly. And if I go any length of time between flights, uh, you feel that you're, you're missing out on something. Although, having said that, now I am retired, I've just got to be a little bit more careful with my uh, disposable income, so to speak. So, I might just go back, actually, because there is no point, really, in burning too much fuel just for the sake of it. One of the things that I did want to do was to actually do a, a, a test on this 40 decibel um, gadget myself. I'm going to have to come down even lower now. Um, because I had to send the last files off to, to Rory because the Wave Editor that I was using didn't allow me to copy a mono track onto the second track. I mean, I know that two mono tracks don't necessarily make a stereo track, but I'm not an expert, but I think you can stick with me on that one. So I actually did uh, purchase um, a bolt onto the Cyberlink um, director that I use, which is their audio editor. Uh, and I know that the audio editor will allow me to take the mono track, which is coming. Yeah. The mono track, which is coming out of the um, Sony recorder, and actually then um, enable me to copy that across. So you'll have to sort of have a little look and think and tell me whether you think it has made a difference 
to the audio quality of the video. It is surprising that when you start getting the weather closing in like this, how much your basic landmarks do uh, do change. I know exactly where I am, not only because of Sky Demon, but I've got the A120 here, um, and in the distance I can just see coming out of the, the haze, I can uh, see Ardley Reservoir, so I know, as I say, exactly where I am. I've, I've said in countless videos that all you do is you line up with the arm of this side of the reservoir and it takes you straight to the airfield. Um, and if you're coming from the other side, then that, what you do is you find the road that goes under the A12, because the 120 becomes the um, A12 at the Ardley interchange. Um, but yeah, I know I'm twittering on a little bit, but if not, there's not much to look at around here. It was a shame that um, in that one when I uh, came back from uh, Moneyden and I did that stalling, that I didn't actually have the forward camera uh, working. I had the faintest idea. I suppose I better check to make sure this one is. Well, the Yankees don't want to fix um, And, yeah, it was a shame that that wasn't working. She did behave exactly the way that she normally does, although I have to say, sometimes um, there is a little bit of a tendency to drop a left wing. Not much, but just a little bit. But that particular day, it, uh, it didn't. Now, I think what I'm going to do is this will take me directly to the airfield, okay? So that's not a problem. But what I don't want is I don't want John or Duncan to be taking off and out into this. So I'm going to just come around this way a little bit further towards uh, Stoke Van Allen and then come in over the top of the airfield. I've got to keep an eye out for Duncan, I know. Maybe he went north to see whether or not he had something better that way. I really don't know. Very good lookout needed. Not that we don't always need a good lookout. Always amazes me. Wherever you see clumps of houses, you see new houses going up. All over the place, squeezing houses in the little pockets you wouldn't believe was possible. Main traffic of the Yankee Echo Hotel is approaching from the east. Main traffic. Fuel pumps coming on, going back onto the front tank. I think the seep is out there by the wind, so I can't see whether it's engine and running or not but I'll keep this one super tight. And sorry, I realise I'm not talking to you much at the moment, but I am keeping an eye out to see what they're doing. Also what's happening in the valley. And it is misting up a little bit, narrower than I usually am, or tighter than I usually am, but I think that's gonna have to do me. That's the air breakdown. Nailing traffic, go for the Yankee Echo Hotel, final nailing traffic. Sixty-five knots.
thanks for watching. Um, tell me what you thought of the audio quality once I've played around with that. Um, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Tick like. Um, do leave me a comment. I do appreciate them. Um, and share with anybody who you think might be interested. Hopefully the weather will be better next time and uh, we get a longer and a, a more interesting flight. But uh, thanks for keeping me company. Bye.